there's one little guy feeding here. From caterpillars to chrysalids to beautiful monarch butterflies, it all happens right here in this nursery. The Badak Bay Environmental Management Association has been involved in conservation efforts for many years. But this is the first time they have bred the pollinators. PEI is in the eastern range of the monarch migration, which stretches all the way to Mexico. The executive director for BEMA says the numbers of the orange and black insects have been declining. Historically, about 100 years ago, we would have quite a number of them around. Nowadays, if you get 10 sightings a year, um, you consider yourself fortunate to have seen butterflies on PEI that are monarchs. In addition to being beautiful, the monarchs fulfill an important role. They are pollinators. And like many pollinators, they are affected by use of pesticides and habitat loss. It's actually food loss. Um, the monarch itself, uh, as a butterfly, can feed on various nectars, so pretty much any kind of flower will sustain it. But the caterpillar it's, can only feed on milkweed, which means the eggs are only laid on milkweed. So once you take the milkweed out of the life cycle, you've lost two stages of the whole life cycle, which means you're basically um, losing the species itself. To save the species from further decline, Brown encourages planting swamp milkweed, which is native to the island. One watershed group has done just that. The Hillsborough River Association has planted about a thousand milkweeds this year. They hope the plants will help the migrating monarchs and also the overall health of the ecosystem. It's great for pollination with insects. They, they, it draws in insects which will help pollinate the plants and spread the plants as well. And uh, not only towards milkweed, uh, even towards other plants too that will draw in pollinators and help pollinate other species of plant too. So it draws in all kinds of uh, diversity within the insect populations. Back at the nursery, the metamorphosis is complete for a new monarch as it emerges out of its cocoon. The association here has bred about 100 butterflies this year and when the monarchs are ready to migrate south, they'll be tagged and released on August 14th. Amersha, CBC News, Emerald.